This is Sos, a village in the Martuni region. Located only 20 kilometers from the Karabakh Azerbaijan border, it has a population of about 1,000. Mayor Hunan Grigorian says that despite its proximity to the border, the village has not sustained human losses or property damage during the April 2016 war. As soon as the war started on April 1st, our entire community gathered around, and hours later, 80 of us rushed to the front line to join our soldiers. Just a few months ago, people were saying things like, who do you think is going to fight now? Everyone is busy with work. But once again, we've seen that the Armenian nation is united at the decisive moment. When you pass through the village and see these children play without a care, you wouldn't think there is a looming danger or crisis. Everything seems normal. But soon enough, you'll notice the glaring absence of young men. It's why construction has been temporarily halted at the site of the community's new school, which is being built with the joint financial support of the Hayastan Al-Armenian Fund and the government of Artsakh. There are almost no young men left in the village since the April events. Everyone has gone to serve on the border. My husband is on the front line, shoulder to shoulder with our soldiers. He considers the defense of our homeland as his most important duty. I'm a pensioner, but my two sons are enlisted. There's no question that I too will go if I'm asked to. We've been substituting for the seven male teachers of our school. The subjects they teach include chemistry, biology, music, sports, and basic military training. All of them are now serving at positions along the front line. They're defending their families, their children. Garen Hovsepian is among those seven teachers who have left the village to serve on the border. I returned from my post just yesterday. I'm going back tomorrow. I feel more comfortable when I'm at my post. That's where my comrades and I feel comfortable and prepared. We do whatever it takes to hold the enemy off. And if the Azeris can't go through us, they can't reach here either. As our young men on leave tell us, if the Azeris weren't able to advance on April 2nd and 3rd, they will never be able to. That's exactly how it is. Our forces should continue to defend the border with such resolve that a Turk will not even dare to approach it. Sitting around the modest table of this village home are some of Sosa's watchmen. They're taking a break while their comrades stand guard until the next shift. As soon as they sit down at the table, the men drink to the health of the soldiers serving on the border. This is the way we live. You might say it's normal, and our spirits are high. After listing the names of the 150 Sos residents who were killed while defending their lands during the Artsakh War, Mayor Hunan Grigorian says their memory places a moral obligation on the village. Among those who were killed was Hunan's brother. We're optimistic, no matter what the situation is. Things will have to get better. Everybody in Sos is optimistic, because the village is protected by the 1600-year-old Amaras Monastery, as well as the unity of the entire Armenian nation. What counts the most is our unity. It's our unity that has Azerbaijan scared, and the whole world is amazed at our unity. I believe our unity is here to stay. It's what will save our people.